Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, let's talk about a day in the life of a SOC analyst. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. You want to be a SOC analyst? Let's talk about it. A day in the life of a SOC analyst. A security operations center analyst is an integral part of a SOC team, which is responsible for keeping an enterprise safe from cyber crime. The SOC analyst is a security professional who handles the good, bad, and the ugly of detecting and managing cyber threats. SOC teams are kept in their toe, you know, they're kept on their toes by the large volume of security events that need to be investigated every single day. These team members play a vital role in preventing attacks and bolstering the company's defenses. So what exactly does a SOC analyst's day look like? Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Now, number one, they have to manage alert notifications. Uh, SOC analysts typically face an onslaught of security alerts every day. This can be security information and event management, which is also known as the CM tools. Flagging alerts due to anomalies, correlation rules, or just regular alert configurations. The SOC analyst looks into each incident and ascertains the cause. The analyst is required to constantly differentiate between genuine threats and false alarms. There's always the risk of missing an important incident among the multitude of false alarms. Next, we have prevent a security attack. Upon detecting an uh, anomalous activity, the SOC analyst investigates it immediately and prevents the threat from wrecking havoc on the network. This can involve detecting advanced persistent threats, also known as APTs, or hidden malware on the network and weeding them out before they cause damage. For this, the analyst should be skilled enough to discern the activities that might be worth investigating from among the thousands of notifications that they receive. If they decide to pursue the incident, they should be able to find the relevant logs to help them construct a timeline of the events that led to the incident. This requires the analyst to be familiar with network topology and having sufficient experience handling security threats. Uh, next, we have incident response. SOC analysts need to be able to get the company back on its feet quickly after a cyber attack. This might mean minimizing the extent of the attack by restricting its activity on the network. This also involves making decisions to limit the costs and recovery time of the attack. Now we're going to go into threat hunting. SOC analysts need to proactively hunt for threats on the network. Threat hunting is conducted based on the information from threat intelligence feeds, a constantly updated data source that integrates information on the various threat vectors, infected websites, recent cyber attacks, and so on. Depending on their experience level, a SOC analyst may be doing different things. These seniority levels are referred to as tiers and, um, you know, there are specific duties associated with each tier. Tier one is a junior position on the team. The person would be responsible for monitoring the network using CM tools and responding to alerts about security incidents. They also need to conduct triage and ascertain the seriousness of the alerts. Tier 2, this person is responsible for performing deeper analysis into security incidents. They coordinate with the threat intelligence team to understand the nature and extent of the attack. They also have to come up with ways to navigate, mitigate, or remedy, uh, remedy the attack. Tier 3, this level requires an experienced person who uses penetration testing tools to understand the vulnerabilities on the network. They are also responsible for performing advanced threat hunting to detect potential threats hidden on the network so please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button i appreciate your viewership and see you in the next video